Uh, this uh, tells you a little bit about where the users are, and uh, another very important uh, conclusion can be reached from looking at this, and that is that the Asian population will be the dominant uh, user population on the Internet. There's no doubt about that at all anymore. Uh, over almost 660 million people in Asia, 250 million in China as of some time at the beginning of this year, uh, are online on the Internet, and that's with only 17% penetration of the Asian population. So as time goes on and more and more of the Asian population becomes online, uh, the percentage uh, goes up, but the absolute numbers of users goes up dramatically uh, into the 2.5 to 3 billion range. Uh, the others are, as you see it, Europe is the next largest today. Uh, one thing that's rather peculiar uh, is that uh, Europe keeps adding countries, and so the prediction, any prediction about Europe becomes difficult because you don't know what constitutes Europe anymore. Uh, North America is now number three on the list at 250 million. It will not get very much bigger. The populations of the U.S. and Canada are not growing dramatically, uh, and uh, so uh, un under no circumstance will the North Americans be the dominant force anymore uh, on the Internet, even though the Internet started there and the heavy penetration, as you can see, at 74 percent. So what you see in the U.S. may be indicative of what it's like to have a large fraction of the population online, uh, but by no means will the North Americans dominate uh, the content or, or the network or the application space uh, over the long term. It will just be part of the picture.